Hi, uh, my name is Mark Cups. I'm an instructor here at Burley Showdown Karate Club based in Newport, South Wales. I've been teaching here for six years, but in total I've been doing karate for about 30 years. I've taught overseas at numerous clubs along the way. I suppose the way people think of it today is primarily as uh, kicks, blocks and strikes. People see it as being a very dynamic martial art. Um, I think when, you, when you've studied karate for a while, you, you're aware that, that the way it was taught originally is more along the lines of the way in which kata is performed, with a lot more emphasis on uh, strikes, takedowns, locks and throws. So to my mind, karate really is it's, it's kata. Whereas in a lot of clubs, what you get, uh, people teach aspects of sport karate, so a lot more emphasis on kicking, punching, blocking. Personally, I, I, I like the, the, the physicality of karate. I like the fact that it was fast and dynamic, and that you got a good workout um, during, um, during, the, during the sessions. Personally, I didn't find that I got that. I, I tried a key, you know, and Jiu Jitsu and stuff like that. And really didn't feel that I was getting the sort of workout that I got from the Kanani. I started karate because I wanted some uh, self-belief in myself and keep my fitness up. At the time I was uh, about 13 and a half stone. I wanted to get down to a regular 11 stone, which I did within a year. Um, started with my, my good friend who was a black belt at the time. His father was the instructor. Even though it was a 40 minute drive every session, I took it up. Um, within five years I was a black belt. Um, and I've looked back since. I got into my 11 stone. A bit more on now, but um, in the meantime, I, uh, I enjoyed karate. I made some good friends during the time. Um, it's given me the self confidence I wanted. It's given me more strength, more speed, um, and a good attitude of life. So, from here, tell me right or wrong. From here. I didn't touch my hips. Okay, from here. Ready? Good, okay, good. See. So, if you couldn't understand it with me doing it, then you should understand yourselves as well. Alright? You understand? That's the first step to learning something is understanding. But I'm very lucky uh, to have uh, as an instructor um, um, Sal Kawazoe, who's an eighth degree uh, black belt. Uh, he's based in uh, London, he's been in this country for over oh, 20 years now. And I think uh, regarded by many as one of the finest uh, practitioners of Shotokan Karate. Um, w you know, we certainly get a lot out of him. Um, he visits uh, our club here three times a year. I think there's very few people that have got his level of understanding and uh, his ability to be able to, uh, to get over the important points, you know. Um, and in particular, very good emphasis about the use of, uh, of the hips in karate. You know, the, to, to try and understand the role that the hips play and the role that the uh, uh, central axis has in performing karate takes a, a, a lot of time to understand, a lot of patience, a lot of practice. And um, sometimes you can, you can find yourself uh, practicing the wrong way and that tends to be counterproductive. What you have to do then is you, you need to readdress, you need to take steps backwards and readdress uh, how it is that you perform a technique. And, uh, and, and that's one of the good things that Mr. Kawazu keeps bringing you back to the basics. You know? No point in progressing beyond those until you understand and can do and can perform at a consistently high level. Anybody can fight. But to be able to do fighting and also to make it look stylish and to be able to pick and choose which techniques you know, are the most appropriate, most effective for any given situation. And, um, that's something that karate gives me. Also, it's, it's, a, it's a sense of status. Now I'm sounding big headed, you know, you, you have a position.
and train three times a week, practice at home. Um, for most people, they immerse themselves in karate for a short space of time. I suppose the average is sort of like, you know, a year, two years, three years, and, uh, and then they drop out. And one of the reasons they drop out, I think, is because uh, they see their progress as being so slow. So I think in order to keep enthusiastic, you know, you, you, you need to be seeing yourself improving regularly. And uh, the only way you're going to get that is if you, you come along, you train regularly, you practice the best that you can each lesson, you put 100% into it. And I think you've got a lot more chances of sticking at it because you'd be a lot more successful in the long run. Okay, wish you all the best.